Today we're going to take a look at the Nevesky NSR. So this is Corey's uh, Noveski NSR rail. It's 13.5 inches, uh, and this I really, really like this thing. It is really lightweight, and really low profile, and has some really, really interesting features. Some of the features of the uh, Noveski NSR rail is 13.5 inches long. It only weighs 7.9 ounces, and then uses a proprietary barrel nut that's low profile that weighs only 3.1 ounces, taking the total weight of the rail system. Uh, just at 11 ounces. That's really, really light. Um, the width is really narrow, as well as the depth there. It's only 1.5 or 1.48 inches wide without any accessories mounted, so it makes it really, really uh, small, able to get a good C clamp on that rifle. Uh, it features the key mod mounting system that was developed with Noveski Rifle Works and Voltor kind of in a collaboration when they realized they were, they were developing similar systems. They kind of got together to standardize that, and what came out was the key mod system and it's uh, designed to save weight on rail systems by eliminating the 1913 rail sections on here and being direct mounted to the rail uh, keeping the size down and the weight down so I've gotten a chance to shoot this a little bit uh, on Corey's rifle and I really am liking it I have the uh, Troy VTAC Alpha Rail on mine which I'm a huge fan of it's low profile it's uh, cost effective, but this thing, it just takes it to, to the next level. It's hard to anodize aluminum, uh, so it's really durable. It's really light, and it's really small. I really, really like this rail. You guys should definitely check it out. Okay, so I've been posting some pictures of this on Instagram and Facebook over the past uh, month or so uh, since I've, I've bought this rail. And one question that I you know, see quite a bit that stands out above all questions is, uh, does the rail get hot? And it looks like it'll get hot because it's obviously very low profile, very thin. Uh, it's got all these key mod holes and the holes in the bottom and the sides and stuff. So it, it kind of gives off the vibe that it would probably get kind of hot if you put a lot of rapid fire through it. Um, you know, I'm an average civilian. I'm not going to be shooting a lot of full auto guns and neither will you. So uh, that shouldn't be that big of a, of a problem regardless. But uh, if it does get hot, uh, I haven't really noticed up to this point. So uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to put about 60 rounds through it, just kind of rapid fire and see how bad it does get. If if it gets bad at all. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. Woo! Well, what do you think? Uh, it's not hot. Come here. Nope. It's not uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable to grab at all. I kind of, I kind of thought maybe that the fact that it had so many, you know, ventilation holes in it, that it wouldn't get that bad. Yeah. But honestly, that's no worse than than anything else. Yeah. I mean, it's a little hotter up toward the front and the rear, but in the center. It's definitely not uncomfortable to hold, no. even if, whether you had a glove on or not. No. Let's go ahead and do, uh, put some more in there and see what it does. Okay. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> now it's hot. <laughs> that's pretty hot. Now it's that's pretty hot. Uh, that was about what? 120 rounds. 120 rounds. Uh, pretty rapid uh, succession, and uh, that's pretty warm. Uh, 
you know, if I had a, uh, if I had a, a glove on, it wouldn't be that bad, but uh, it's not to the point where I can't shoot it. I could still shoot it if I wanted to, but uh, it is pretty warm. And, and let's be realistic, guys. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be doing 120 round mag dumps very often, especially in a possible real world situation. So I wouldn't really too, worry too much about even doing one or two mags as fast as you can and still being able to, to keep your hand on there and not worry about getting burned or anything. Pretty cool. Yeah. So guys, I am a huge fan of this NSR. Um, I was looking for a new rail system and uh, when I came across this, I, I definitely wanted to try it out. I haven't, hadn't seen a whole bunch of reviews on it. I think most of the stuff on YouTube is pretty much installation videos and uh, so no really you know decent reviews on the, on the handguard um, one of my concerns was when when I picked it up was you know is it going to get really hot and I honestly haven't had too much trouble with it uh, like I said um, I'm not going to be out shooting a whole lot of full auto if I, if I was I would probably want to have on a glove regardless so you know I'm used to shooting a lot of AKs and if you guys uh, have ever shot any AKs at all you know that they uh, they heat up quite a bit so uh, not that big of a deal. Uh, one reason why I wanted to go, uh, you know, with a lightweight rail system was I knew I was going to uh, D-ball system on my on my rifle, so um, I knew there's going to be some some more ounces on it. So I wanted to try to lighten up the uh, rail system. So uh, I think this does a really good job. It's pretty pretty lightweight, and I am a big fan of the key mod system. Uh, you know, if you want to add any accessories, uh, it just makes it really simple and easy to put on and take off. So in the end, uh, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Uh, you know, the heat the heat thing is not that big of an issue, uh, you know, it's something I can live with, so I like this rail.